Hi, this is tutorial number one for mobile racing game template available on the Unity Asset Store. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the required project settings, which include editor build settings and the tag manager. Well, let's go ahead and get started. The quickest way to do this is select the option tools, turn the game on, mobile racing game template, import project settings, then select import editor build settings and the tag manager assets. So go ahead and do that now. You can also manually double click any of these to do the same thing. So now if we scroll down through the tags and layers under the project settings, which are available under edit project settings, we can see the three layers that are used, minimap, layer, AI racer. The minimap is used on minimap objects and the minimap camera only draws those objects. And the player and AI racer are used on the player and AI racer colliders. Next, we'll take a look at the build settings, select file build settings, these are the scenes that are in the app by default. So we have a main menu, a garage, open world, and a quick race. And then we have a race defeat and a race victory scene. The project also has a race template scene, which we'll get into in a video. The final thing that we'll want to do for setup is go to the main menu scene. Once you open it, you'll get the Text Mesh Pro importer prompt, the import Text Mesh Pro essentials. Go ahead and do that. You can also import the Text Mesh Pro examples and extras. In this video, I will not do that. From here, we can press play and we can play the app. So the first thing we'll do is enter a profile. At this point, everything is set up and we can select the options menu, for example. We can also select the garage menu. Here we can switch between the available cars, you could buy it, if you've already purchased it or you own it, you can customize or select it. Here I'll customize it. Body paint. Add a neon light to it. Also adjust the rim color. Oh, I could select the car. I could load it into the open world. This is just an empty open world scene. You can add your own content into this open world. You could replace the environment and whatever you want. From here, I will go to the pause menu. I could return to the game. I could go to the garage. I could go to the main menu. I will actually just go to the main menu. Next, we have a couple of different options for races. You Go into a quick race, arcade series, or championship series. And a quick race is just a single race. I'll select the first race. And now I'm loaded into a race. So I don't have my Unity remote connected to the machine, so I can't really control it very easily. At this point, I will exit the race. So if we double click on some of these scenes, I'll open the garage scene here. We can see we have all of the different UI menus for the garage, different prefabs. You could select any of these prefabs, open them and edit them to replace the UI components. You could also replace the environment art the scene with your own. And we go to the open world. Here you can set up your own environment and create your own open world scene. And the quick race scene is an example of how a race is set up. Here we just have a simple terrain with some AI waypoint routes for the cars to drive on. And these are configured with various settings. So on some of the AI waypoint routes, for example, if we select first one with route index zero, we can see that some of these waypoints have different speed limits and they have different targets. So we'll go into some advanced route configuration in another video. Basically, you could define how the AI cars will progress through the track. There's also a racing system prefab. If we select this prefab, this is what holds all of the default settings for the race manager and the race UI canvases, which again are all their own prefabs. You can just edit any of these UI prefabs to change the style and design of the UI. And as far as the racing system goes, we'll have another tutorial in the near future that will 
show you how to set this up. There's actually a race template scene. The race template scene has an environment. You can replace this with your own to set up your own track. And from here, we have a racing system prefab that we looked at in the previous scene. And it has all of the default configurations required. What you'll do is be using this inspector and clicking around in the scene to add some race waypoints and checkpoints. And then you'll use a spline route creator to create the AI waypoint routes for the track. And we'll get into more details about all of this in a future video. The final thing you might want to look at for the quick start is the data folder. Here is where we have references to the player cars. So you could change the values and create unique settings for those. And you can also duplicate this prefab and replace the car model and create unique settings on each car model. And then you could assign that new car prefab to this player vehicles list and have a new player vehicle. There's also a number of mock race data that you can use. Currently, we're only using race data zero. And we'll get into some more details about the race setting, but these are the settings for this particular race. Here we can quickly expand and take a look at the racer info. And this is what specifies how many AI opponents will spawn and where their spawn position is, as well as where the player's spawn position is. And finally, you can ping the AI vehicle prefab, and we're using the AI car optimized. There is a full AI car, which has a few more components on it, but it does require additional processing power. So lower tiered devices may not be able to use that. As with the player car, you can customize the AI car and create additional prefab variants for that to create additional AI racers. And then you could assign those racers to the race data. And that's about it for the quick introduction and getting started tutorial for mobile racing game template. I'll see you in the next tutorial.